you guys. Today we're taking a look at Pup Pod, a really unique new high-tech dog toy designed to keep dogs stimulated and engaged through action-based puzzles. As a bit of background, a couple of weeks ago, my vet gave me strict instructions to keep Remy on house arrest. He's had a bad back leg limp that hasn't been improving. He'll probably need x-rays in the coming weeks. I was really nervous about not being able to take Remy out for his daily walks. This year, Remy and I have made tremendous progress with some of his behavior issues, and I was concerned that him being trapped indoors without any walks would cause him to revert back to his old bad boy ways. So I'm sure you can imagine how happy I was when I was asked to test out Pup Pod. What is Pup Pod? Pup Pod is a dog tech toy that relies on three different components, a rocker toy, a feeder that dispenses treats, and an app that controls the feeder and rocker, allowing for communication between the two. When you start off on Pup Pod's standard level one game, a session plays out like this. First, the rocker makes a sound to get your dog's attention. Next, your dog noses or paws at the toy to rock it. Then the feeder makes a clicking sound to confirm that your dog has performed the appropriate behavior and the feeder dispenses a treat as a reward. The process repeats from there. Once your dog has mastered level one, you can increase the difficulty for more challenge. What's really incredible about Pup Pod is that it offers tons of customization and advanced features you really don't see in other dog toys. For example, you can customize the sounds that the rocker makes, like a treat bag sound, a squeaker sound, and a BB-8 sound. Remy and I have been using the R2-D2 sound. However, the doorbell sound is especially popular for owners looking to desensitize their dogs to the doorbell so that they don't bark up a storm every time a visitor stops by. Good boy. You can also customize the time in between rocker sounds and can randomize the time gaps to keep clever dogs guessing. There's even a lights only mode for the rocker that allows the toy to work really well for deaf dogs. Our experience with Pup Pod. When I first set up Pup Pod, I was a little disappointed with how uninterested Remy seemed. The rocker's many sounds didn't seem to generate any curiosity from him. For the first couple of days, I had to place small pieces of kibble under the rocker in order to get Remy to engage with the rocker toy. This is actually what Pup Pod recommends for teaching your dog how to play with the rocker initially. Hiding the food under the rocker got Remy to respond, but I still worried he might not catch on, especially when I still had to put food under the rocker on day three. However, on day four, things finally clicked for Remy. Remy began to knock the rocker of his own accord when I put it out, Good boy. without me adding food or prompting him. After knocking it, he would quickly run over to the food dispenser to get his goodie. Usually, Remy loses interest after a few minutes of pup pod play, so we don't need to worry about running out of kibble. However, the pup pod actually can hold up to two cups of kibble, so you could potentially feed your dog his entire meal with this toy if you wanted to. One of my personal favorite aspects of Pup Pod is the gamification elements. The rocker and feeder system itself is really fun, but the Pup Pod app is where you see how much love and care went into this interactive toy. In the Pup Pod app, you can unlock new badges and achievements based on your activity, motivating owners to keep playing Pup Pod and engaging with their dog. I'll admit, I am a total sucker for gamification. If you can earn badges and points for doing something, I will do it. And I love opening the app each day to see if Remy and I can beat our previous high score. Who is Pup Pod best for? Pup Pod is a really incredible puzzle toy that is especially well suited to clever canines or any owner whose dog enjoys puzzle toys. It's also a great idea for nervous dogs who need help building up their confidence. The rocker can initially be a little frightening for timid dogs, but when they learn that they get treats for bravely interacting with the toy, it can go a long way to instilling confidence. Pup Pod is also an awesome tool for dogs who need to work on impulse control. For example, on level two of Pup Pod, dogs need to practice self-control by only hitting the rocker right after it makes a noise. Get it, get it. Yes, good boy. Not just any time they hit the rocker as is the case for level one. And once your dog gets the hang of Pup Pod, you can even let your dog play with it independently while you have a work call, making it a real must have for attention seeking dogs whose owners work from home. I absolutely adore our Pup Pod, and I know I'll be using it even more in the winter when Remy is recovering from his leg surgery. If you're a fan of puzzle toys, definitely give Pup Pod a try. We have an order link in the description down below.
It's a truly one-of-a-kind toy that's perfect for any smarty pants pup who could use some extra stimulation. Did you like this video? Make sure to like and subscribe so that we can keep bringing you awesome dog toy reviews. Let us know if there's a particular toy you want us to review in the comments. Thanks and have a great day!